Skinner versus Ash. Three, two, Ash, one. right now a point leader with Cypher, 48 points. But Kaginen, the Polish underdog, defeated Toxicity. And off the start, Ash is looking to get a lot of the items. Kaginen, though, has the weapon advantage, has a real gun, Ash has most. And he's punishing Ash, look at this. Ash, he only has OG, so he can't really fight from that distance. And um, yeah, that was just bad mental awareness from Gine. I don't know what he did. He probably thought Ash was gonna go to the teleport, and Ash just pulled him really well. And this is really huge, because Ash got the first frag. On toxicity is very important, as I've reiterated a lot of times last time um, when I was casting this map. It's very huge to get the first frag, especially if you can capitalize and get all the items afterwards. And Ash so far has taken the red, the yellow, and the uh, mega. So there's just one yellow to the next side. It's not all too bad. One yellow on this map is pretty good. It's out of control. Yeah. It's Great rockets from Ginan there, actually. Ash tried to close the distance, but Ginan made it quite painful. And he's got a window of opportunity here. Mega's not for another 10 seconds or so. And 63 health on Ash. He's going to be stacking up now, but another good rocket from Ginan. If he gets positioning, this could be really nice. Pulls out the rockets. Eight health left for Ash. Six now, but Mega's up on the spot to save Ash. Very good attempt. In fact, after that, Ginan is still left with aggressive options. Wow, great rocket by Ash. And Ginek is did really well to challenge Ash in that situation because Ash was about to just build up a crazy rotation mm. of every single item, but Ginek didn't let that happen. He just came came through, attacked Ash, dealt a lot of damage. Even if he sacrificed a frag, at least it prevented Ash from just getting the whole map. And right now, Ginek is getting one yellow. It's cool. It's cool. Good for him. He's able to defend himself. He's got a rail gun. He's got rockets. And it's not looking all that bad, even though he doesn't have control. He's definitely showing glim showing signs that he's capable of taking control back. Seems that way as Ash is now spamming his grenades onto the, the red. See if he can get it, see if he can push Ginnon away. That is the case. And, great, and Ash is great now delay. in the brilliant position. Look at this stack. It was, was great from Ginnick to kind of challenge the red, but not really challenge it. He stayed a lot around there very long so that the yellows spawned. And then he just went away and collected the yellows. It was very good from him um, because he wasn't, he didn't have a big enough stack to fight for the red, but he was able to just um, hold dash there for as long as possible. And now he's gonna get the frag. Oh, oh no, <laughs> against all odds. But the thing is, is that Ginnon, I think is doing an amazing job. He can feel confident that, okay, my opponent's getting frags on me, but I'm really hurting him, slowing him down. This could be 10 to 0, theoretically. Yeah. The game is so, so, so annoying to Ash. And look, now Ash is, I mean, surely he's going to die. Without make, before making a sixth frag, and Keen is going to get that opportunity to turn things around, turn the cycle over, and on top of its head, take it for himself. But let's see if he can do that, because Ash might just come right, right back into it. But no, Keen in nine health, Mega's in four seconds. Keen should be okay. Yeah, I mean, Keen is uh, he's playing very well. He's finally got a frag now, and he's got it just in time. I mean, you can't let the score run away too far. He's got a lot of opportunities where he could have killed Ash, but he didn't, and I was already getting worried because. While it's it's also it's very nice when you almost kill your opponent and don't let him get complete control, but if you just keep almost killing him, it doesn't give you frags, and you keep losing frags, and you're gonna lose the game. You know, at some point you actually have to use your opportunity. It's not enough to just create them. But he's done very well to at least get one frag. Now he's it, it's roughly an even situation. I think Ash might have ha might have a bigger stack, but then uh, yeah, he lost that fight unfortunately. That w that would have been better for him to just back off and uh, be satisfied with having 100 to 100 about, giving us some more items, but just when you have this kind of stack, it's more than enough to fight and more than enough to just uh, play more defensive. It's, it's better than just um, dying and losing the whole map. And, and Ash is trying to hunt and he will find his prey again and with a facial rocket. Ash now trying to get his position back to see if he can finish the job. Finish what he started, that's exactly what happened. Seven to one for Ash as Guinan's chances. He's got to be gutted right now. He finally was able to get the kill onto Ash to stop his crazy 
<laughs> path of destruction, but Ash is right back into the action again, and Ginn has to try and stop him again. And it's just looking so difficult right now because the stack is almost... This should not be allowed. Getting this close to 200, 200 on Toxicity. Ash is doing a fantastic job retaining his stack. Here comes Ginn once again. The grenades, though, should be enough. There you go. It's a nice little rocket there, but with Red and Mega both spawning, like, pretty much now, Ash is not really, like, breaking a sweat here. And thinking about it, you have to say that uh, Ginnick was a bit unlucky because he got, like, he nice. finally used an opportunity and he got a frag. But out of the opportunities, it was the worst possible time. Very nice. He's doing great damage though, and he's got a frag. And this is great. This is actually chase. this is actually frag. Unlike the last one, where after frag he doesn't have to wait for five seconds for the mega, and like the last time he had to wait for the mega, and it allowed um, Ginnick to get the red in the meantime. So it's basically Ginnick. Even though he lost the frag last time, was able to instantly go into an advantage again. But this time, Ginek actually looking very good. This is brilliant Great stuff, Ginek. He's got to be. He's got to put a spectacle on here because from this position, there's no turning back. He's got to make this momentum count. He's got to build on it. He's got to make it stronger. He cannot miss a shot. He cannot let Ash get to grips with him. And Ash is actually starting to, to do that. Ash is going to go for the drop onto the red. Keenan left with only ammunition there to shoot that rail. And he's not going to connect. And Ash will intercept to finish the job. And Ash is going to keep this margin of five frags alive. As there's four minutes left, Ash is going to try to take this yellow. No problem. And he's going to be able to also just work the positioning on Mega now and just stay in this kind of plus E position over here where you can pressure, fall back onto the short thing of Mega, deal damage to Ginnan if he goes for that red, which he surely should, but he's that not. That was an opportunity, but, but Ginnan just couldn't know. Ash actually, like usually the player at the Mega would just leave the Mega up and wait at the red for as long as you know you have to. You know, wait for your opponent to drop down or to make a move. But Ash just went for the Mega. Actually gave Ginek an opportunity to just go and take the Mega. Uh, to, to take Red Armor. But Ginek unfortunately didn't hear it or didn't see it. And he Maybe he just didn't believe it. And he's able to get these frags in between these items before Ginnick can really like take very much. So he's always pretty weak. And then after the fight, Ash can just pick up that item that then spawns for him. So Ash is looking at these uh, like completely ideal situations that that really, if you, can, if you can play for those, then you're loving life. And Ash is going to pick up another frag. Red's there for him again. The similar situation. Ginnick takes horrendous rockets there. Beautiful mid air from Ash after the bounce and things are just looking so sweet yeah. for the Russian. This is looking very good. Of course, Ash is a player who is incredibly good at losing leads very quickly. He's uh, quite skilled at that. I have, I've seen him blow leads on toxicity of like 15 to 16 frags against evil once in uh, I think the 125 FPS tournament. And not only that, like, he's generally somebody who... I don't know, he's, he's, he's a very smart player, he usually knows how to play defensive, he just sometimes seems to have like a blackout when he's under pressure and he feels like, alright, this might actually, uh, I might actually lose this game. I don't know if he gets nervous, so he just kind of loses track of what's going on the map, but he does sometimes lose big leads, but this is getting out of hand. Yeah, you know this, what? Is, this is game, basically. Yeah. And you know what decided the game? Decided the game was uh, when Ginek had a... Uh, I think he had 100 100 and he just took, he, he had momentum, he just made a spawn frag and he was looking really good and then he went to take, uh, to pick up the mega and he did it a little bit sloppily, like uh, he didn't... Whoa, what was that rocket? Crazy. But, but he didn't oh check for Ash to be below the mega and so he just, just this very small mistake, just jumped on it and li a little bit recklessly and Ash was able to bounce him with the rockets he fell down and then he took another rail gun and essentially lost all his stack and that one mistake I think cost him the game had he, had he not done that sloppy mistake he instead you know, first fired the rocket down or sh shot a rail gun down or just dropped down which can be very effective like when the mega is up your opponent never expects you to just leave it up and maybe um, go very slowly uh, I, I don't know how to explain it like um, like where Ash is standing right now is a very popular position to try to amber your opponent at the Mega. And then you can just go from um, the teleporter, sort of. Just go very slowly. Can I go spectator? So what I mean is, like when you're ready to, 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 to take the Mega, you can sometimes spam rockets down there. And like show you're there and then just start moving very slowly and just circle around from the other side of the map. And uh, kind of drop onto his back. Mm. And that, that is very effective as well. Your, your opponent will be very focused in the mega and he'll be like spamming it, he won't be hearing much of what's going on. 
So there were, it, he just made a little bit, a very small mistake, and on this map it's just, it punishes you so much. Just losing control once yep. is essentially, is it. Especially if your opponent is connecting, because that's really what it is. You don't, if, if your opponent's hitting those shots, hitting those rails like Ash was, he was brutal. I mean, off the spawn, just like back-to-back -back rails, not missing a single one. And that really gets you behind, because when you die then, it's like another 10 seconds or even longer if your opponent just walk around the map wherever he wants to take whatever he wants. So it's just free so free armor. That's what it is. Free armor, free health. So Ash, 19 to 8, will take down Geenan. Geenan perhaps not able to take advantage of perhaps his best opportunity to take down Ash, who is by far, I'd say, the favorite, despite the immense skill that has been displayed in the past from Guinan and the prospect that in the future he could be a very, very good player. Yeah. But right now, uh, Guinan not able to do it. They played so well. They played well. I, I would say that if they played 10 games against each other on Toxicity, I would expect Guinan to win about three or so. Like he, he could have won this game, it just needed to go a little bit different. I think that's a fair, fair thing to say. I feel the same way. And on that note, guys, we'll go to a break. So we'll see you soon for the next match on the 7th Summer Cup. We'll see you soon.